We're making party food today. We are making cauliflower bites, or some people call them cauliflower wings or buffalo cauliflower bites or wings, whatever you want. Basically, it's kind of a substitute for chicken wings, but it's just a little bit healthier, right? We're gonna be baking these in the oven and I'm gonna be using some seasonings to just bring out a lot of great flavor and get some crispiness on this. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm gonna be using a store-bought barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna show you which brand I really like to use because it's delicious and the ingredients are very clean. So you're gonna love that. All right, I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, I like to start off here with chef joke number one and number two will be a little bit later in the video. All right, this is for all you dog lovers out there. All right, what do you get if you cross a dog with a daisy? A cauliflower. <laughs> so we're gonna start off here by cutting up our cauliflower into florets. I'm using a, an organic cauliflower here. So you want to cut out that stem first, that way you get good access to all the florets. And then you can start cutting out those florets. Once you cut all the florets off, then you're going to want to cut those into bite-sized pieces. And then once you get all your florets cut, place the cauliflower into a bowl. So now we're gonna make our batter, which is gonna give us a nice crust, or at least a part of our crust. So I'm gonna be using some gluten-free flour here. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one, -one, and we're gonna add some almond milk to that. You need to use unsweetened, or at least that's what I'm using. Then we're gonna add some garlic powder, smoked paprika, and some ancho chili powder. We're gonna add a touch of salt to season it up. And we're just gonna whisk that up and, and you're gonna find that it's very, very thick. And when it sits, it gets thicker. So you may have to thin it out a little bit by adding just maybe a teaspoon of almond milk as you go. So this is the consistency you're looking for. Now I'm gonna show you how to get a real nice crunch on this, all right? This is what to me really makes it because I like that to be nice and crunchy, right? Okay, so we're gonna be using some panko breadcrumbs. I'm using Aaliyah's. They are gluten-free, but you can use any, any uh, panko crumbs you want. And to that, I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of Italian seasoning just because I like it. And it makes it just a little more flavorful. Now I make my own Italian seasoning. You can, uh, I'll leave a link for you so you can make that yourself and try it out or you can use store-bought, whatever you want. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my panko crumbs and just stir it so that it's evenly distributed and we're ready to put these together. You're gonna wanna cover a baking sheet with some parchment paper for making this you know, easy to clean up. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot of burnt stuff going on. So definitely use the parchment paper. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and now is where it gets a little messy. We're gonna take our cauliflower and we're gonna put it into our batter. So we'll take a handful of cauliflower and, and just toss it in there and just kinda of coat it. I'll just take a spoon here and of course my fingers and just dip that cauliflower right into the sauce and try and coat all of it. And from here it goes into the panko breadcrumbs. Make sure you coat all sides and actually press the breadcrumbs into the cauliflower so it sticks. So when I do this, I like to use my left hand for dipping into the sauce and coating and my right hand for the crumbs. Once they're coated, we'll place the cauliflower onto our baking sheet. And make sure to space out the cauliflower so they're not touching each other. These are going in the oven, preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. All right, I think it's time for chef joke number two. Now this one was actually sent in to me from one of my viewers. So if you have a good joke, send it in to me and I might use it. Okay, what is the tallest building in the world? The library, because it has the most stories. <laughs> so while our cauliflower bites are cooking in the oven, it's time to make our barbecue sauce. I'm using Primal Kitchen's barbecue sauce, which is has some really great ingredients in there. I mean, it's really clean, very little sugar, but I like a little sweetness in this, so I'm gonna be adding some maple syrup to it. And for a little bit of tang, we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice. It's gonna be delicious. Give that a quick stir and you're ready for action. So I checked on the cauliflower bites after 12 minutes and now they need to be turned over. 
and I'm taking them out of the oven so that I can turn them over without cooling off the oven. These are going back in the oven for another 11 or 12 minutes. I just took these out of the oven so they were in there for 12 minutes, turned them over, and then they went in for another 12 minutes. Now you can see all the little pieces here on the tray that are actually burnt. Those don't taste good. So what I've been doing, and you can do it any way you want, I've been kind of moving those aside because I don't want them to get into, you know, onto my um, cauliflower bites. Because I'm going to be adding the sauce now. These turned out, they're very crispy right now. They're, I can feel it with the tongs. So we're just gonna take our sauce and you wanna coat these. These are, they're really not that hot at this point. So what I do is I take them, I actually pick them up. They're not that hot right now and they've only been out here about two minutes. And you wanna coat them with the sauce. And I coat all sides. You don't wanna make this super thick. You just wanna get a little coating all the way around, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through here and just do all these. It just takes, you know, a couple minutes. Here they are all covered in sauce. These are going back in the oven for about 15 minutes. Here are our cauliflower bites all finished and I'm serving it up here on a little platter with some carrots and celery and of course our dipping sauces. I've got my barbecue sauce here and some ranch dressing. Is I don't know if you can hear the crunch but it's there. No question about it. These are really good. Nice and crunchy, lots of flavor. We got a little bit of heat in there, not too much. It's about medium, I'd say, with a little bit of maple syrup. Brings out a little sweetness to counterbalance that, and the lemon really brightens it up. Delicious. You are definitely gonna wanna try my homemade ranch dressing that has a little healthier side to it. I'm using avocado mayo in this, so you're getting a good dose of good fats. Click the link to see this recipe. If you enjoyed today's video, you can let me know by smashing the like button, all right? And leave me a comment. If you have a recipe request, I'd love to hear it. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.